intermediate IFM managers. You've got to a point where you're fairly good at, let's say, half the marketing strats, but you don't know how to progress, or you're struggling to progress, or you don't have enough time to be able to progress. So what do you do? What do you do? You can do many things. You can learn more, or to make it very, very simple and very fast, you can team up with another agency or someone who knows what they're doing with a specific market method or whatever, you, whatever your main struggle is. You can team up with other people, basically. Especially if you're an individual uh, in your management agency, because you're probably outreaching to a lot of people. And yes, you're the manager, and you're doing fine, outsourcing all your work, which is good. However, communicating to three different VAs, two different editors, I mean, all sorts, free chatters. You're going to be struggling to keep up with all that work, plus paying attention to the model and getting content off them. So being able to have more people in your management is going to be very beneficial, especially if other managements are doing other things and good in specific areas, in other, in other areas that you may not be. Yeah, there's plenty of scenario. So say you are an agency, you have a few models, you're doing all right money. You're mainly marketing on TikTok, and all the short form sort of content, so reels, YouTube shorts, whatever you're doing. And you want to progress your marketing methods to dating apps, for example. Now, if you're very smart and you've been playing the game correctly, you'll know connections already that will be focusing on dating apps and the other methods that you want to progress into. But you're probably not an expert in those areas. So you can do one of two things. You can either pay for the information, which will take money and time to actually learn it or you can partner up with the agency or another person that is the expert in that field so very very simple if you're in networking groups stick a little message in there or whatever you want to do outreach to specific people if you know specific people or specific agencies that you found on instagram whatever that are very good at what they do and you can explain to them look i'm good at tiktok this may not be your specialization but it is mine. Now, I've got these models in this space doing TikTok, brilliant. I wanna progress them to dating apps. Have you got any models that you're purely just doing dating apps and you wanna progress them into TikTok and Instagram and other things that I'm good at? It's like a merge of knowledge and experience. As you can stick on it for a while, and try to get your experience. But like you said, if you haven't got them expertise in TikTok or something, it's gonna take a while. Now, you can't just learn that overnight unless you, you know, stay up for a few nights reading some courses or get a mentor or something like that. It's going to be very hard. So, yeah, definitely team up with people. 100%. And you can do this, again, one of two ways. You can manage their models in the TikTok, Instagram, whatever space, add them to like the content plans and teach their models what to do for free. Or you can say, I want 50% of your cut to do this. And then you can retrospectively take 50% of each other's models or 50% of each other's cuts so 50% of 50% if they take 50% that's a lot of 50% <laughs> yeah, but okay. yeah that's what you can do either offer to do it for free and say I want you to do this for free or you can say yeah I'll take that split and you take this split of mine and yeah. whoever well yeah if, if you're performing while, better then you're going to get better money even after a while then if you start to trust each other then you can just merge into one and it'll be even easier then because pretty much two managers and it's not going to it's not going to cause friction or anything because well for example we started off together we weren't two agencies that merged. We started off together. And like Carl said, I was doing one side of the business, he was doing the other. And that's how we grew. And there was some things that I didn't have a clue what the fuck to do. So I just messaged him and said, yeah, can you do this? He's like, sorted. Yeah. So it's, if you have a strong relationship, you can easily progress your business a lot quicker. Where do you find these relationships? Yes, it's, it is hard online. It's definitely hard online. However, if there is groups like our community, I believe that's quite yep. big now, yep. they're not all trusted in there. However, if you're in like a course community, let's say a TikTok course community or something like that, they're already people that are willing to invest in themselves. So they've already got a commitment. So they're less likely to be scammers or, you know, untrustworthy or demotivated. They're more likely going to be willing to work. Yeah. Not only this, but, and yes, a lot of people in this industry are just cunts. They are, that's a fact. You will find a lot of cunts in this industry. Hard to get along with. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of, power problems and yeah. thinking, oh, I'm going to take over this and that, especially if you don't really know each other that well. However, you're going to have similar mindsets. You both want to make money. You're both in the same industry. You want to do bigger things than just 
sit on your ass and you have that in common with that person at least so whether it just be a pure business thing or you actually gain a relationship become friends with people either way you're going to create a strong bond and you'll be able to progress not only in OFM but in other businesses as well especially if they're quite local as well so it's hard for you blokes out in the states but if you're in the UK and you're working along with someone say for like an hour down the road meet halfway you might as well do it have a little business chat go out for a pint a coffee or whatever go do some gym workouts or something like that just build a bit of a trust there because once you see them in person there is a different connection there rather than just on the phone calls or messaging so definitely do get interactive and it's like saying networking networking is very important when it comes to all business but if you are in problems or getting limitations then yeah you, you're going to want to have to get educated or merge up with people and that's another good thing actually with people in our course because a lot of people have been instead of buying our course they've been trying to merge with some of the people that are in our course because uh, they're obviously quite good in good at ai now because in our course we have a lot of ai products which teach you how to do only fans or ai models etc so they do try to team up with some of our students to help them out with ai yep agreed and i know that a lot of blokes start online businesses because they don't want to do the in real life stuff which well quite sad but yeah. that's the modern world and my advice would just be to fucking get on with it and do it there's such a difference between jumping on a zoom call on your computer and actually going out meeting someone you've both taken the time out of your day to actually meet them there's going to be a bit of trust there already so meeting people in real life is just so much better you actually you know them you get to know them how they carry themselves in real life you know how they i don't know if, if you're at a pub for example you know how they treat their bar staff you know yeah. if they're good mannered if they um treat you with respect if they have good eye contact if they're going to pick up qualities that you wouldn't pick up over a zoom call or whatever that may be yeah exactly so yeah trust is hard to get but it's also easy to build yeah and commitment and if once again if you're a good bloke and they're a good bloke then or even a female if you're a good female good chick chatting to another it's easy it's easy if you're both good you're not cunts it's easy yeah you're cunts or you've got some sort of fucking power restriction shit yeah dominance you're, gonna, you're probably gonna struggle a little bit but yeah that is life so definitely if you are struggling or got some limitations do think about networking teaming up with other people or just getting yourself slightly more educated so then you have a bit more value so then if you do network out to other people or try get a va and trying to teach them how to do tiktok if you didn't know fuck all about tiktok how are you going to teach them how to do it because they they need some sort of training so get educated to be a bit more valuable to be able to either network with better people or be able to get staff better trained yep it's exactly that i think that that'll pretty much sum it up just gain skills make yourself a more valuable person not only just for business but as a person as well if maybe if you weren't brought up the right manners fucking learn manners like it's not yeah. that hard or if you don't know much about tiktok gain no skills then you're then more valuable person so easy to network easy to make connections etc